Joe Wicks, Wean in 15, up-to-date advice and 100 quick recipes. Embark on a delightful journey of weaning your little one with Joe Wicks Wean in 15, up-to-date advice and 100 quick recipes. This book summary explores the key aspects of weaning, helping your baby develop a healthy relationship with food while gradually transitioning from breast milk or formula to solids. Dive into the modern concept of complementary feeding, which incorporates a variety of textures, tastes, and habits for your baby to embrace. Learn to focus on responsive feeding, letting your baby's signals guide you as you encourage healthy eating and foster a positive relationship with food at an early age. Weaning as a positive journey. Weaning is not just about removing breast milk or formula from a baby's diet but about encouraging healthy eating habits. Complementary feeding encourages the baby to develop skills, habits, and attitudes that go into healthy eating. The process is a journey that builds a healthy diet and a positive relationship with food. Letting your baby lead. Every baby is different, and there is no set timeline for weaning. The key is to let your baby lead and respond to their cues. Indy, the author's baby, was eating a variety of foods at nine months old, but every baby develops at their own pace. Don't compare your baby's progress to others and avoid forcing anything to happen too fast. Instead, practice responsive feeding and watch for signals about what your baby needs and is ready for. Weaning Guidelines for Babies the article discusses the general guidelines to follow and the loose timeline to keep in mind while weaning your baby. Weaning is a journey that varies from baby to baby. While there are general guidelines to follow, each baby has different needs. The focus should be on a rough sketch of what the weaning journey will look like. The key point to remember is that your baby will show you when they are ready to start weaning. Although each country has its own recommendations for when weaning should begin, the National Health Service, NHS, in the UK suggests six months as a rule of thumb. However, different babies develop at different speeds, so it's crucial to look for three main signs of readiness. If your baby can maintain a sitting position while holding up their head and neck, has hand-eye coordination to see food, pick it up, and put it in their mouth on purpose, and can swallow food easily, then they're ready to start weaning. But, if they can't do any of these, they need more time to develop. Many parents misinterpret behavioral cues like growing dissatisfied with breast milk, waking up hungry, or chewing fists as indications that their baby is ready to be weaned. These are normal behaviors of an infant and not signs of weaning readiness. Also, if your baby is showing signs of readiness before six months, consult a doctor before proceeding. It's crucial not to offer them solid food before 17 weeks old since it's unlikely they'll be developmentally ready. In conclusion, weaning is not a one-size-fits-all process. To know when to begin, parents should look for developmental signs in babies and follow the general guidelines. Gentle Weaning Guide Weaning a baby should be a slow and gentle process. The first month is crucial as it sets the foundation for healthy eating habits. Breast milk or formula should still be the primary source of nutrition during this time, with the main goal being to introduce new tastes and textures. Avoid feeding sweet foods as it could lead to a preference for junk food and fussiness towards healthier options in the future. Give your baby the best possible start with vegetable-led weaning. Vegetable-led weaning is a simple and effective method to help your baby develop a love for vegetables right from the start. During the first few weeks of weaning, babies are more receptive to new flavors, making it the perfect time to introduce them to a wide range of vegetable flavors. Research shows that babies exposed to a variety of vegetable flavors during weaning are more accepting of them as they grow older. Making a single vegetable puree per day and serving it soft and easy to swallow is an excellent way to start. For instance, broccoli on day one, potato on day two, green beans on day three, and so on. To make a puree, chop up your chosen vegetable, boil it until soft, drain the water, mix it with some new water or milk, and blend until creamy. Vegetable-led weaning is a lot easier than you think, 
and the recipes are some of the most straightforward you'll ever make. Feeding your baby, spoon feeding versus baby led weaning. As a parent introducing solids to your baby's diet, you have two main options to choose from spoon feeding or baby led weaning. While spoon feeding involves mashing or blending the food and feeding the baby with a spoon, baby led weaning encourages independence by allowing the baby to self feed with finger foods. Both approaches have their unique advantages, and parents can choose the one that suits them best or combine both methods into a hybrid approach. However, it is important to take precautions to avoid choking hazards, including cutting round foods like grapes into slender pieces and feeding the baby small, soft foods. Developing your baby's palate. Introducing a variety of flavors and textures to your baby's diet can help develop their palate. From combining flavors to trying mashes and finger foods, responsive feeding is key to discovering what your baby likes. The weaning journey is an exciting time for parents and babies alike, and it's essential to ensure your baby is exposed to a variety of flavors and textures. The first two weeks were dedicated to single flavor purees, but now it's time to take things up a notch. Combining flavors is an excellent way to develop your baby's palate. From zucchini, pea, and mint puree to broccoli, rutabaga, and potato mash, there are countless options to try. As your baby becomes more accustomed to these flavors and textures, experiment with looser and thicker consistencies to discover what they prefer. Finger foods are also a great way to let your baby explore new flavors and textures while practicing their pincer grip. Steamed carrots and green beans are just a few examples of nutritious finger foods to offer. The key to responsive feeding is to pay attention to how your baby responds to these different food options. If they're ready, try mashes as a thicker alternative to purees. Additionally, introducing new flavors and textures, such as white fish, can help expand your baby's palate further. Overall, introducing a variety of flavors and textures from the start can help set your baby up for a lifetime of healthy and adventurous eating habits. Baby Feeding Guidelines When it comes to how much to feed a baby during the weaning journey, there are no standard recommendations. Responsive feeding is a simple process that should guide how much food parents should offer their babies. Parents should offer their babies some food, observe their appetite, and adjust portion sizes accordingly. Remember to nurse the baby at least an hour before mealtimes or immediately after to avoid spoiling his appetite for solid food. Establish a routine that spaces out mealtimes and nursing sessions, which also gives him a reassuring sense of regularity. The weaning journey continues. The weaning journey involves gradually increasing the complexity of your baby's food. From month two to four, your baby can try finger foods and adventurous recipes with mild curry powder. As your baby grows, you can adjust the texture and incorporate stronger spices and larger pieces of meat and vegetables. Navigating your baby's nutrition. As babies transition from liquids to solids, it's important to ensure they receive a balanced diet covering four main food groups, vegetables, fruits, carbohydrates, proteins, and full-fat cow's milk. While cow's milk can be introduced at six months, it shouldn't replace breast milk or formula until 12 months. Fortified alternative milk can also be used, but careful planning is needed for a vegan or vegetarian diet. To ensure proper nutrition, consult with a doctor throughout the weaning journey. By the end of Joe Wick's Wean in 15, you'll have gained valuable insights into creating a smooth weaning journey for your baby, fostering not only a healthy diet but a positive relationship with food. Key takeaways from the book include understanding the right time to start the weaning process, introducing your baby to various flavors and textures, and focusing on responsive feeding to cater to your baby's unique needs. The importance of addressing your baby's nutritional needs and promoting a balanced diet through different food groups cannot be overstated. With this information in hand, you'll be well-equipped to help your baby grow and thrive as they discover the world of food around them.